great. Mr. Outdoors here. I've been nominated by Paul from Macumba Loud Outdoors to do my five tips for wild camping. So, here we go. I've written them all down here so you should know. All right. So, first of all, make sure you go on other people's YouTube channels and find out what kit they're using and how they're using. Um, if you talk to them or message them, most of them will watch how I get back to you and they'll give you an hand and they'll give you help in what to have and what to not have um, and they'll give you tips on what like what stuff they use and um, so that's a my first tip and um, get on youtubers you know what i mean that's where i started asking questions and that and, and you end up with a kit what you want and what suits you okay that's the first one second one um when you're going out camping first of all depends where you are if you're in lakes in snowdonia you're in Scotland, anywhere, anywhere in the country or anywhere in the world, wherever you're going, check out the weather, check the weather and make sure you've got the right kit. Um, so if you haven't got the right kit, if you get found out without the without right kit, you, you watch all you're going to have, you're going to have a shit show, pardon me French. Um, so make sure you check on the weather, there's loads of apps what you can use to find out about the weather. Um, there's um, Mountain forecast for Lake District, you can, there's an app for that, you, there's, there's all sorts of what you can use, so make sure you know the weather and what there is, and when you're out there, make sure you know the terrain as well, make sure you take a good map, good map with you, make sure you're up on your map reading, because all of a sudden that weather when you're up in the mountains over a certain height, becomes completely different from when you're on the ground, um, I've been caught out in it a few times, and take it from me, it is scary, um, so make sure you take a good map, and a compass and um, so you're not getting found out because we don't want the mountain rescue coming out you know what i mean because you've not took the proper kit or worn the proper kit and um, so that's my second tip my, my third my third tip is um there's all different shops you can go to to buy your kit and um, there's cheap kit there's deer kit if you're into all you won't go full out and get by, buy the deer kit and um, there's there's kit for all sorts of people, you know what I mean? But if you want to do a cheap kit, um, there's all sorts, there's army surplus shops what you can go to, and um, there's Go Outdoors, which is the, one of the main ones what people go to to find kit. Um, but shop around, go on, online, but make sure when you're buying your boots or, or your thing, or even a fly, make sure you they know that they fit you because they have to, when you're walking and you don't want to buy a bare boots and then you're halfway up the mountain and you start rubbing, make sure you, you, you check them out and make sure you've got the right sizes. Okie dokie. Tip four, LNT, leave no trace. This is an important one to all wild campers. Um, sometimes we get a bad name from people who are just like summer campers and they just come out there with cans of beer, boom boxes, whatever, get tents, go there, leave the tents there, leave the rubbish there, leave fires burning, just don't give a crap really, you know what I mean? Leave the cans of beer, coke, food everywhere. You know what I mean? It's not right. Um, proper wild campers like us, we have a, a code and it's the LNT, leave no trace. So when you're out camping, make sure you clean up after you, um, respect the environment, um, take all the rubbish away with you, that's it, and end it there. Just give it a good side before you go and leave it as it was. And if you do get to a camp spot and it's a bit of messy, um, get, um, um, just put um, the rubbish away, you know what I mean? I know I know it's a ball ache or clean up after other people, but just do a bit, you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? So it's all back to normal, okay? And number five, my tip on number five, what I'll have, well, um, it's not necessarily a tip, but I wanna just to put it out there is mental health. Um, there's a lot of people in the wild camping who suffer from mental health and Myself is an advocate for it. I suffer from mental health myself. Um, and I just want to get it out there that there's people there in the YouTube world who are there to help you. Um, myself is one of them. Um, so when you're out, if you're feeling down and unhappy or you feel like you can't go on, just talk to someone. Talk to someone, please. Um, it is the best thing you can do. Talking helps, and even if you like, it happens. In, it can happen in men, women, kids. You know what I mean? But in men, 
it's sometimes it's hard to talk when you're a man. I think it's like this macho thing and everything. But and I used to be like that. I used to never want to talk and stuff like that. But talk is the best thing. Um, other YouTubers who are on here who can you can talk to who have been through the same thing as anyone who's had mental health. Um, you can talk to them. They'll get you straight back. You know what I mean? It's a nice community. I've met so many friends on here. It's unbelievable from all around the world. I talk to them all the time. And you know what? It is, it's made my life a lot better. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Wild camping, it's it's like saved my life, really. Just, it's bob on. I love it. Love being out there. Love being in the nature, because that's where we are. That's where we should be. Oh, yeah. Should be in that bloody nature. Uh, enjoying it. You know what I mean? All food tastes better. You know what I mean? You can, you can hear the birds. You can hear the owls. You can hear the deer. You can hear everything. It's just amazing. You know what I mean? It's just opens all the senses in your body you know what i mean and it's really good and i love it i absolutely love it you know what i mean and i recommend anyone out there to do a bit of wild camping oh yeah oh yeah defo i love it so that's my fifth and final one so you're suffering don't suffer in silence talk to someone and as my good mate adamant once says it's okay not to be okay so check him out as well He's a good lad. He does a lot on, on mental health. Um, he's been through it all and he's a legend. Right? And we've we've like known each other about two weeks now. And I tell you something, he's a cracking lad. Check out his YouTube channel. He's absolutely brilliant. So anyone with mental health and you want a good laugh, get out there and 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 watch and then um, watch his YouTube channel. You'll love it. So that's Mooster. All done. All done. So I'm very out of way. Hope you've liked it. You know what I mean? It's the first time I've ever done something like this on Camera, I mean, I don't know I'm used to being out in the wild talking, that's different, but being here, like just talking to the camera, like on your own, like you know what I mean, it's a bit different. So, anyway, I'm going now, all right. So, I've only got one thing to say now before I go is, oh, yeah, you know, it makes sense. One more thing before I go, I forgot to tell, tell you who, who I'm tagging next. Hey, <laughs> you know what I mean, boy, you're thick, and um, thick as. Um, so the one I want to do first is Adam Inch Wild. It's Adam, I-N-T, Wild. Um, so I tag you, mate. So you're next. After that, it's Chris from The Height of Life, I think it's called. Um, I tag you, mate. You're next. You can have a go at this. Um, number three, a survival dad. Survival dad. He can um he can do it as well. Get him saw, get him done. Um who else? Who else can I choose? These are just off the top of my head. I'm trying to think now, like you know what I mean. Um Camping Wild Dragon. Yeah, die. You can watch Carly, you can do it as well. And the Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks. Um I hope I've not missed anyone else. I know me. I can't pick loads of people, but they're just things I'm off, off the top of my head. So go and do it. Oh yeah, you know, you know.